when a game where obviously it's you know it's a very emotional game and and there's a lot of opinions flying around and you know just think of a VAR call the emotions that that sort of conjures up within people um it's a game of opinions do you know what I mean like yep. honestly you know at this point in at this particular point in time Arne thinks Vukovic is better placed than Langerak I find that interesting but he's choice. Got to a world cup right like mm. he's going there to be successful and you know even when i was football director at adelaide united a couple of years ago you know the co- you see coaches make decisions and i'm yet to find a coach who makes a decision that they think will lead to a worse result for the team and therefore them yep. so as hard as it is to understand and put yourself in other people's shoes sometimes like it's a weird game and there's a lot of weird people in it. So there's a lot of weird decisions that are therefore made from an outsider looking in, but all the decisions that are made have a very strong rationale within that person's mind, making the decisions 10 times out of 10. That's, that's the coaches. They can honestly, they can make or break sort of careers. Do you know what I mean? So, um, and I've seen both sides where coaches have made people's careers and, amazing players have just been destroyed by particular coaches. So, um, yeah, the Langrack one's an interesting one, but, you know, Arnie, Arnie obviously thinks that having some other goalkeepers is going to be better for not just the team, but also himself as a coach.